Hey there, Lick and Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which I would like to share with you a nice noodling idea that I've recently found that creates the illusion of counterpoint without much effort. Um, it's a little bit challenging, but it's pretty easy to execute, so it's a little bit contradictory when you think about it, but you'll see when we get to it. You need to tune the sixth string down to D, okay? So you have drop D, okay? Drop D tuning. And you divide, in your mind, you divide the strings into two sets. Strings one, two, and three, and four, five, and six. Now, you're gonna be barring frets two, three, and five on the first set. Barring two, three, and five. Okay, now you can go up to seven if you want, but you'll see why that is a little bit irrelevant here in a second. On the second string set, the bass set, you play two, four, and five. Okay, and if you want to use the third fret, then play two, three, and five. Now, that gives us a lot of options because we're looking for interesting connections. We're looking for kind of a counterpoint, kind of a, kind of a, a question and answer thing between the two sets. Something like... Okay? You're looking to create... Uh, the illusion of counterpoint by um, by going in different directions simultaneously. Um, now there are obviously a ton of combinations here. You can you can do. you can stop on interesting sounds. So some of those interesting sounds might be open strings one and two, uh, one, two, and three, with four on the second set. Okay, it's interesting. Okay, especially if you do a little solo as well. Okay, so just make sure you're not staying at the same place for too long. Now, you can also do a little bit of a distance. Okay? You can do 5-5-5 five, five, five with your little finger with 2-2-2 two, two, two on the bass set. Okay? Now, try using the third fret instead of the fourth. into different ideas and it kind of forces you to think outside the box because there are no uh, chord shapes here it's just bars but it's still chords it's still chords and uh, when you want to do seven you can do the same thing you can do you can do seven 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 four 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 or seven 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 five 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 Sorry, I played four here. So...
You see, um, as long as you force yourself to keep going, you might come up with really interesting ideas. Now, this is mainly for noodling purposes and just exploring the guitar. But if you come up with something really interesting here, let me know, uh, because I have not covered all the options here. I'm pretty sure there are things that I haven't uh, thought of yet. But I wanted to share it with you while it's fresh because I really like this sound and I think you can come up with something really brilliant here. Yeah, I feel that this has the potential to hold something really interesting in its midst. So, um, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next lesson. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And bye for now. Have fun.